Experience the powerful journey of 45 days, the fight for a nation. Join the New Jersey and New York Armenian community on Sunday, September 29th, at St. Leon Armenian Church for a special screening of this powerful film. The evening begins with a wine reception at 5.30 p.m., where you'll have the chance to meet producer Rasko Akopian. Then, dive into the film at 6.15 p.m., followed by an insightful question-and-answer session with the producer. 45 Days, The Fight for a Nation compellingly illustrates the human impact of the 44-day war between the Republic of Artsakh, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Directed by Mil Gessen, a former British Royal Marines commando-turned-documentary filmmaker, this film provides a stark examination of Azerbaijan's full-scale assault on the Armenian population of Artsakh. Tickets are just $10, with all proceeds supporting Artsakh refugees in Armenia. Don't miss this chance to witness a gripping portrayal of the 44-day war and its human impact. The screening is sponsored by Knights of Vartan Bakradani Lod, Daughters of Vartan Suhagan Ushutek, St. Leon Armenian Church. For more details, contact Sargas1 at gmail.com or call 201-951-4602, or email r at edricorp.net or call 917-837-1297. Join us for a memorable evening of film, discussion, and community support. See you there. Artsakhi Harapetutsune yentarkvele Azerbaijanakan zimvats ujeri agresiy. Natijada eynu. Yena Azerbaijan between Armenia and Azerbaijan has continued. Nagorno-Karabakh sits within the national boundaries of Azerbaijan but is populated by Armenians. It is ancient land with great cultural significance. Fighting between Azerbaijan and Armenia over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. There is a humanitarian crisis going on. For 18, 19 years, sons fighting against Turkish special troops, against ISIS from Syria. Any Western leader, they could have ended this war in two days, but they weren't willing to do that. Whether we live or die it doesn't matter. Not all lives are equal, and our lives don't matter. And we've learned that. Drones, cannons, you name it, they were just constantly coming. They're using kamikaze drones as well as surveillance drones, and this is a game changer in this war. How do you feel that no one came to help Armenia? Anger with all countries, no, not help <laughs> Armenia. We see awful things okay, and nobody know nobody know about that armenia no. was only one this nation i mean didn't spill so much blood just to give it up in an island still a massive amount of confusion on what is actually going on here it's confusing to know if we've won or lost Armenians say this war is an existential threat. Putin announced that 2,000 Russian peacekeeping troops will be heading in to replace Armenian soldiers. People actually thought we were going to win this war, and we were not going to win this war the way it went. It's not easy to burn the oven. They can't kill us, and they can't kill our hearts. <laughs>